That's Twilight Riot. That song is called Transit State from their latest album, Atomism. And White Light Riot will be playing tonight. And we have uh, White Light Riot in the studio right now, I suppose. <laughs> Would you guys like to introduce yourself? I'm uh, Joe Hel- um, uh, Joe Christensen. This is Mike Swant. I'm uh, Mark Swant, the drummer. I'm Dan Larson. We, and station. we are... White Light Riot. Wow, I don't even know what to say. We really are White Light Riot. Yeah, we had um a really good time driving down. You guys want to explain your name, White Light Riot? Well, you know, let me tell you. You're gonna take this, Mike. Yeah, Mark, I, uh, my brother. I will take this. The name was originally going to be Red Eye Catastrophe, which um actually turned out to be uh, an inappropriate video. And uh, we had to change the name again. We Googled it. It was not our it band. Just yeah, happened, it was um, no. It, it came up. It there was not a picture of me. No, but I had this. I had this video in my video collection, um, and, and we thought it had a real catchy name. And then uh, we we uh, we viewed that video. Joe, and, did you just get another perm? Um. Well, I got a silkening done. It's just um a little gloss and color and, and then and then and then like a, it looks really good yeah looks good. Thanks. it looks really I like good it. mark doesn't that look good i, I just i um, feel it looks very good yeah and i i feel it feels really good it just feels really good it is silky smooth yeah because you should if the listeners could touch this they would come to our show tonight so yeah I, I i think we get a bad rap sometimes for just being such a pretty band yeah, yeah but I, we are about the music yeah, it's we, not it's, all about sex appeal here. It is. Yeah. It is not. We're pretty you know, though. We are. That's undisputable. Than the, the rest of the bands but, on the bill tonight, we're right. the prettiest, I would say. Yes, I mean there is there is a difference between a Todd Hansen and and a Mark Schwant. There, there, there is, is a, a, this, a distinct is, difference between a Todd Hansen and a Mark Schwant. There's a big difference. Big difference. Big difference. Wow. Well, yeah. Having to turn my mic off here. Are you having technical problems? My mic work is working fine. I don't think it's, she's feeling well. It seems well. to be doing well. My, this works well. I hear a tapping noise when I hit it. Okay. Uh, what is, is mine on? Like, Stop blowing. The hunt for the Red mine. October. <laughs> <laughs> Who or what White Light Riot inspires your music? Because it's so emotional. Beauty. Beauty. Butterflies and uh, softer things like uh, my uh, my blanket. It's Earth. Real soft. Wind. Fresh fragrances. Heart. Heart. He's supposed to say fire, Dan Larson. Hey, fire. Fire. Fire, fire, Dan Larson. Captain Planet thing. Fire. And there was a love heart. as well. You, you remember love? The, yeah, heart. No, it's heart. No, oh, heart. Love. Okay. Hi. Don't let's you remember not, when, when, hairs, we were, when we were younger, Mark? Do you remember all the fun times we had watching Captain Planet? Growing up together. Growing up together. Yes. When we would sit together at in home. In the same house. In the same house, in the same living room, on the same piece of furniture. And we would watch Captain Planet. And we would sing along. And and thought, from our couch fort. Right. From our couch fort that we built with the other chairs and blankets. And then we said, and I said to you, I, remember, I recall it distinctly. I said to you, Mark, my brother, you are my brother. We should start a band. Let's, let's start this band. Let's uh, start this Red band. Eye catastrophe. Red Eye Catastrophe. And it just, you know, it just happened to be that you weren't wearing any pajamas that morning, right. which is why we we're thinking Red Eye Catastrophe. Right. And it was just <laughs> such a catchy, catchy name. And I believe Captain Planet said something similar to that in one of the episodes, too, about an ecological disaster. I, yes. A catastrophe? Yeah, of the red eye nature. Whoa. Isn't that right, my brother, Mark Schwant? I, I believe you are correct, Mike. Wow. Okay. Do you guys have any pre-show rituals or superstitions you conduct? I like to uh, brush my hair a few times. Um, I also like to go through all of the Polaroid pictures I've taken of myself um, for my space, uh, make sure that I look pretty good and that my self-confidence is boosted. I never open uh, umbrellas indoors. That's just uh, not before a show. That's just always. That's silly. That's silly. It is. It's Dan, a superstition, silly. though. Yeah, we've been we've been working on him. Sometimes he'll come into a room and I'll have an umbrella and I'll open it. Uh, the crying used to be for only uh, you know about twenty minutes or so. It's down to about ten. 
after that incident. So I will sibling continue. hijinks, though, right, just sibling know, hijinks. Si- sibling hijinks, you know. It's the same how I have the paranoia of, of a large cat being thrown at my face, and he will do that to me sometimes randomly just to scare me. And, you know, I, I do, I, I get, I get it unnerved when the cat hits my face, but mostly because of the claws. And, uh, but it is, I, I understand the camaraderie and the fun behind right. it. Right. I do understand it. Uh, uh, Dan Larson actually has, um, has a, has a very, very interesting, um, pre-show ritual actually in, involving silk. Yeah. Tell us that ritual. Well, I like acupuncture. The for the red October. <laughs> I, I like acupuncture and silk. They go good together before the show. Well put. That was very succinct. Thank you. So, uh... The White Light Riot is the greatest band that has ever come to this town. People who do not go out to see this band should feel foolish because they were not there. It's like what? Jason of Malden, could you please close the door and leave the studio? <laughs> Malden is no longer welcome here. Uh, <laughs> not while we're in here. You know, they're, they're you know, an okay band if, if you're into that kind of crap. But, you know, right now it's about us. This is our moment. You know, we've never been here before. We'd like a little respect when we come to town. Thank you. Don't you agree? My brother, Mark Schwant. Yes. Okay, finally, I'm going to ask the definitive radio question. What are some crazy stories you guys have to share about your experiences? Uh, um, this one, ironically, is true. Yeah, is this, is this the one about me? <laughs> no. Um, what, what happened was, we, you know, South by Southwest, the, the biggest music festival in, I believe, the galaxy, um, or at least the nebula. Um, we went down there and I was in the bathroom, which was a porta potty, and I dropped the keys to our tour van, which we need to tour, into the porta potty, right? And without thinking, without hesitating, without realizing this may not be a sanitary idea, I dove in past the not like jumped in, but I put my arm in past my elbow, and then I was mucking around and I did not find the keys. And then upon realizing that my entire arm was in human filth, I removed it and uh, regretted the ch- decision to do that. And I immediately went out into the crowd and started towards our hotel room, which is quite a while away. And so there were many people bumping into me. So I used that as a good opportunity to cleanse my arm by wiping it up against them to remove some of the feces from it and uh, urine defecation um, other you know feminine products that were in there. And then when I got to the hotel, I scoured my arm for several hours. And then I believe it was my brother, Mark Schwan, who came into the room and said, what do you, what happened? And I said, I, I lost the keys. They fell into the porta potty. And then Mark, I, that's when you notified me that you had a, a spare set of keys. Yes. And I'd also like to comment uh, to this day, that arm has a distinctly different odor than the other arm. And you never got it out. Right. And, you know, and when we do have one of our other pre- uh, show uh, rituals where we smell each other's arms that becomes apparent. They're sniffing each other's arms right here in the studio. No one could see this. Yeah. So. Is that sonar? The hunt for the Red October. How do you think sonar is sonar in the radio? <laughs> okay, white light riot. In- Woo! Woo! Do you guys have any closing comments? That story is true um i actually was just wondering if you uh, wanted to go out for dinner later if you were available i, I don't really eat dinner i i eat, i feed from cat food it's on oh. my pocket right now <laughs> that's uh that's what we were referring to i guess uh there are, there are some good places in town that serve cat food or cats as food i believe yes it is winona so. all right folks that is There's all the time. for the red october that is all the time we've got here today. Come to the Drought House tonight to see Wake Up Bedhead. We are the branches, Maudlin and White Light Riot tonight at 8.30 at the Drought House. No cover, so you really have no excuse. Once again, this is 89.5 KQAL. I'm going to join with this song. It's called The Ghost of You Lingers by Spoon.